Hello there, I am Jack with my Pokemon Leaf Green video. In the last part, we took on. Uh, what did we do actually? We. I think we took on the Future City Gym or something. Yeah. But no, it may have been actually the, um. The Saffron City Gym. I can't even remember, jeez. Okay, so now we're actually going after the three legendary birds. I'm gonna do uh, the three legendary birds, I'm gonna be catching them in this order. Uh, Articuno, because Uno in Spanish is one, of course. Then Zapados. Zapados is two in Spanish. And then, uh, uh, Mall Trace, which is Trace is three in Spanish. So I'm gonna go in order of their, like, Spanish names and all that. Or part of their names, because Spanish is part of their names, actually. So those are three legendary birds, so yeah. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. Okay, cool. Let's battle. So, some more David. Okay, cool. He has a Goldeen. Cool. I have Starman up front. All my Pokemon are level 40 right now, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for the Thunderbolt on this thing. Hopefully, we can one KO with this thing. And we do. Nice. It's super effective. Okay. Shelter's next, so let's stay in with Starman, I guess. Oh, look at that Shelter just sticking his tongue out at my story man that's not very polite anyways one thunderbolt will take it down nice and then finally we have a seeking yeah so this might this may take two hits but since i have the type advantage here with using a super effective move at least it may go down in one hit it may not there we go it does go down one hit awesome cool yeah, we defeated Summer Day, but help. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for the dollar and 16 cents, though. I would appreciate it. I should put a repel on, actually, just in case I run into more Pokemon. So, yeah, my repel's at the very bottom of my bag, really. Like, the very bottom. Here's another swimmer. Let's take him on. Let's just talk to him. What's beyond the horizon? Well, I guess Seafoam Islands is. Are you going to Seafoam Islands, Swimmer Douglas? I don't know. Okay, this see uh, this horsey is level 27. It should go down one hit with this Thunderbolt. I mean, the last guy's Pokemon is level 29, so I'm feeling pretty good about this one. The horsey goes down. That's good. Nice. Tentacle. Okay. Stay in. So level 27 as well. Okay, let's go for the Thunderbolt. Starman is just mowing him down with all these Thunderbolts, which is a nice. Thing to do. I bumped my um my desk a little bit there, so sorry if it kind of microphone picked it up. You know, my bad. I bumped it with my armrest. Okay, so now we have another tentacle coming out. Okay, we'll stay in. We'll stay in. Hopefully by the end of this battle, you know, Starman will be level 41. Be nice. That would be nice. Let's see if this level takes out one hit. It does. Nice. Cool. Okay, well, and yeah, the last Pokemon is a Goldeen. That's level 27 too. I want a surprise. Not really. That's okay. The Thunderbolt should take it down. And it does. Nice. So with that, I think Stormman will go, go to level 41. And he, it does. Since, you know, Stormman's genderless, I guess. Cool. Even though I made it have like a male name, but that's okay. Glub. Thanks for the dollar I need since, man. Okay, let's, uh, let's go for the, um, let's go for the giant green, I guess, next. And then let's switch Starman and Triple Cliff, which I'm having a hard time doing. Jeez. Okay, here's another swimmer. I come back around. There we go, nice. I love swimming, what about you? I like swimming, but in this game you can't swim on your own, you have to like, catch your Pokemon Surf, which makes sense, I guess, for sailing across water. But I don't know why I can't just swim sometimes in Pokemon games, you know? It's like, what the heck, man? Let's go for the Razor Leaf on this thing, it's a probably like level 30. It's 10 levels below us, though. And the Razor Leaf takes it on one hit, awesome. Probably will, okay. We're gonna use uh, Razor Leaf again if we take out this part. Well, it does nice, and it takes that one hit. Awesome. 
Swimmer Matthew, belly flop. Thanks for a dollar and twenty cents, man. Let's uh, what I have a second? Firefox. Let's switch to um, triple cuff to being second then. Okay, yeah. Let's take on this double battle. Luke, Luke says. Uh, my big sis taught me how to swim and train Pokemon. That's good. That's nice of her, actually. It's pretty cool. Sister Bro, Leah, and Luke. A look. Or, I don't even know. There you go, getting bumped on my desk. Jeez. Ah, man. Let's go for the Razor Leaf because it's both of them. And Hyper Beam, not Hyper Beam, but Thunderball on the Seeking. Let's see here. The Golden goes on one hit. The seeking stays alive. Okay, it's okay. Triple cuff. Hopefully, we'll finish it off. And there we go. Triple cuff does her job. Yay! Now we defeat System Bro, Leah, and Wook. Oh wow! Someone's tougher than my big sis. Thanks, man. Thanks for the two dollars and forty cents, man. Stick on these swimmers. Oh, I ha I just love your ride. Can I have it? If I win, you want my star me if, if, if you win, well, I'm going to make sure you don't win because I want to give up my water type Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, tough look on you, man, or miss, or, I don't know, you're a female, so it's like, ma'am or miss, don't do that, I don't want to lose against you to give up my water Pokemon, even though that won't happen, even if I lose, I still don't want to give up my water Pokemon. You have like, you, so far you have two Poliwags, I mean that's two water type Pokemon right there. They, they may be the same Pokemon, but they're still water types. What do you want, why do you want my water type so bad? Because it's great as a mix attack or something? You know? Okay, Goldeen. Nice. Let's uh, stay in. Let's go for another Razor Leaf. It hits, awesome. It's Goldeen's. Level 27 female, but it goes down in one hit. Nice. I think you have like two more Pokemon left. Seeking, okay. Yeah, you have two more Pokemon. Seeking level 27, okay. Let's go for the Giga Drain on this thing. Let's see if we even want to KO it. Let's see here. And we are able to want to KO it. Nice. That's all good. There we go. Now Giant Queen's level 41. I want growth. I don't want to learn growth, honestly. No. Stop learning growth. Yes. Okay, then I'll learn growth. Good. Let's glitch over to uh, Trouble Clef. There we go. Let's take out this Goldeen. Let's go for the th Thunderbolt, I guess, because it's going to be super effective. There we go. Yeah, but if it's somewhere, uh, I forgot to read your name, honestly, sorry. Oh, I lost. That's okay. Better luck next time. Thanks for the dollar and eight cents. Let's switch, um, Giant Green with, uh, Triple Cough then, and then put Giant Green at the next, um, Starman, or above Starman in the list, and then let's put, um, my Moon to the second slot, I guess. Let's take on the swimmer right here. Ahoy there! Well, these waters are treacherous. Well, not if you have a trusty water type Pokemon you can surf on. You're golden then. So he has a tentacle. Cool. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Okay, there we go, nice. Let's go for the tentacle. Oh, uh, let's go for another tentacle, I guess, like you could say. Let's go for the Thunderbolt again. This tentacle is level 27 male. I'm pretty sure all his Pokemon will be level 27. That's just my guess right now. Yeah, okay, Horsey. Let's see if this horse is level 27. And it is. Can I not set to a certain amount? It also, like, the less the Pokemon... The less Pokemon the trainer has, the higher level it'll be, but the more Pokemon the trainer will have, the lower level it'll be. So like, for example, this trainer has like five Pokemon, and they're all like level 27, right? Yeah, five Pokemon, so even this tentacle may be level 
27, yeah. But if she just had one or two Pokemon, they'd be around like level 29 and 30. And maybe if you just had one, it'd be level 30. So yeah, it's something to keep in mind. Like less Pokemon means higher levels, but then more Pokemon they have, the more Pokemon they have, the more low level it'll be. And you know, um, Thunderbolt didn't faint it there, but luckily since Trouble Cup's confused, I can use the Yellow Fruit on it to snap it out of confusion, just to, uh, right away. But I'll take it but one turn. So yeah, there we go. Just gonna go for the Acid, okay? She could lower Trouble Cup's speed, and it does. Okay, no, it's, I thought it was the only speed. My bad, it's defense. I knew it lowered something. Um, let's go for the Shadow Ball, I guess. I mean, we just need enough to faint it. And look, there's a critical hit. Awesome. You have a thousand experience. Wow. Travel Cuff is now level 41. That's good. Let's go. For, let's switch up the study. Let's go to, um, let's go to Mimean, I guess. Star you okay? Let's go for the um, magic leaf, I guess. Let's see if this one it kills it. Um, it does. Awesome. Now yeah, where'd you go, my man? Oh, dangerous! Sorry, man. <laughs> now you now you kind of bite it out, so you have to go back to the Pokemon Center and swim back there. Now you really don't have to. They just stay put really when you beat them. Uh, let's switch um, triple cuff with my man, and then. I didn't even go to Triple Cuffs summary, dang it. Switch um, Triple Cuffs with uh, uh, Airbender, there we go. Half my Pokemon are level 40, half my Pokemon level 41 now. I swam here with my friends, I'm tired. Yeah, swimming does take a lot out of you if you like, you know, swim for a while. If you spend, uh, spend a couple days at the pool or something, you know, and you swim and swim and swim, it can weigh you down because your muscles get tired from all that swimming. I'm recording this video on um, just, uh, July 21st of 2017, and it's a um, Friday, but when this gets uploaded, if I were to guess when this would get uploaded, um, let's see, we're like at 30 parts right now, aren't we, in this, in this walk the guide, or the redo walk the guide, so that would mean, and Earthbound doesn't finish up till August 12th, I'm thinking this, um, yeah, this, um, this video should probably be up with sometime in September. So yeah. Just um my guess I guess. If just if I'm if I'm if I'm just gonna give a guess when this will be uploaded actually. It'll probably be September sometime sometime in September. But I could be wrong. I mean it could be it can be earlier than that. It could be later than that, I don't know. It just depends really. Oh yeah, they took out the st one star with um one razor or not razor but um uh magic leaf and then we took that star you out with another ma magic leaf so that's pretty good and she has a third star you nice it's cool if she would have star me but that's okay I don't wanna tell her oh use a water stone and you star me you they could evolve man or they could evolve yes yes swimmer I guess I don't know. Anyway, my me my mean good level forty one. That's good, nice. We defeated Swimming Connie. Okay, I'm exhausted. Oh yeah, yeah. Swimming does take a lot out of you. <laughs> Thanks for the dollar and sixteen cents. Okay, let's switch to Airbender for this um next swimmer. Let's switch Firefox and my me and there we go. Okay, swimming great. Sunburns ain't aren't. Wow, at first, like when I first played this game, I thought she said ain't, but now she says, well, she said aren't, so that means I don't have proper grammar when I was little, and I just made the same grammar, grammatically, I'm not grammatically correct again, because ain't isn't a word, <laughs> wow, okay, let's go for the return attack, let's hope this can one kill, it's level 30 female, so it could survive one of these returns, so it might take a little bit more than that. But the gold lean still goes down, that's nice. It's nice for us. Okay, she has a Seeking next. Okay, I'm gonna go for the return, but I believe the Seeking will be able to take one return. Maybe not two, but just one. Because after the second one, she, the, the Seeking might faint. Ooh, it could quite nice. So there we go. We defeat some more Alice. Shocker! Thanks for the dollar and 20 cents. So now we defeat all four of these people. Can move on, I guess. I want to buy like every train on the road, just have the experience. 
So I'm going to fit this guy to circle around, but he should make a contact with me. There we go. The water is shallow here. There are many people swimming. There are, ma there are many people swimming. I misread that at first. You swim very. He's going to send out a shoulder. Oh man, the shoulder has a good physical defense, so I'm. It could survive one return. Maybe not two. But depending on how much damage it does. Oh, cool. I was able to faint it. Nice. A uh, coister, yeah. Coister is the whole form of shelter, so this coister probably could stand up to one re return. Maybe not anything after that. Well, the second hit attack might faint it. It's gonna go for a ruby, which is super effective. It's a nice time move. No, airbender. Okay, cool. Didn't freeze airbender. It's gonna use protect now. Okay. Let's go for the turn again. This time it hits because Coyster didn't use Protect that time or maybe Airbender outspeeded it but I'm pretty sure Coyster didn't use Airbender Protect that time because he, he usually would go first for that kind of move. But we defeat some very Splash. Thanks for the dollar 24 cents man. Really appreciate it. Nice. Why are you riding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? Well not. Apparently I can't swim in this game but I can surf on a Pokemon. Here's Swimmer Darren. I guess his name, yeah, pronounced Darwin. Darwin. Yeah. Let's go for the return again. Because <laughs> return is such a good move. In my opinion, it's a good move. Because like, I can, my Pokemon really love me and stuff, so they'll do, they'll do high attack on uh, with the return and stuff. High damage. So that's good. Everyone is in level 41. Let's switch over to Firefox. Because Firefox is still level 40. And the only Pokemon in my party that's not level 41. So let's try to get um, Firefox some levels, but then again, they have the type advantage now, so we have to be careful. I want to see how much a flamethrower does. I know it's not very effective, but it's probably my best bet, honestly. I was able to faint it, though. Nice. Cool. I wonder if he has a Seedra. Yeah. Call it. He does have a Seedra. Let's go for another flamethrower. See, just level 48. There we go. And it only kills that too. Awesome. He has a horsey. Another horsey. And this is fourth Pokemon. Let's go for another flamethrower. They should faint it because uh, Firefox fainted the previous horse that was 1228 with flamethrower. So that's good. And it's the same thing. It's the same result, I should say. There we go. If you some more Darwin. I watched uh, Torpedoed, I guess is what he said. I'm not sure. No, it started with a T. I know it did start with a T. Thanks for the R12 cents, man. We have another swimmer right here. But I want to switch to um, Firefox. There we go. Let's take on the swimmer. Seafoam is a quiet getaway. I'm vacationing in here. That's good. It's good to be in a quiet place sometimes for a vacation, you know. It's very, those places are just very relaxing, so it makes sense. The siege is level 30, so it may not it may survive a flamethrower. We'll have to see. Let's see. And it does. Okay. But I'm gonna use quick attack on this thing. It's gonna use smoke screen to lower Firefox's accuracy step by one. Let's go for the quick attack. It still hits awesome and faints the Seedra. Nice. Okay, she has a she has a horsey. And then she has one more other she has one more Pokemon after this too. Let's go for the flamethrower. This flamethrower may faint this horsey in one hit, we'll have to see. And it does, nice. Cool. And Cedra. She has another Cedra. Okay. This one's level 30, just like your other one. Cool. Okay, now I'm gonna have to use quick attack. Yeah. It's gonna probably go. I was expecting them to use smoke screen, but I'll take the twister on uh, Firefox because it's not that powerful. So twister is not that great of a move because it has really low power. So that's good. And now Firefox is level 41. Nice. Everyone in this part group one level. Everyone, I started everyone at level 40. I think we're in this part and now they're all level 41. Quit it. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for the dollar 20 cents. I'm sorry. I was kind of going hardball on you because I wanted to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's pure honesty right there, actually. I want to win. I don't want to white out, you know? I don't want to black out either. 
Which everyone what happens in this game. I forgive. I think it's whiting out in this game. I think in the original, like red, blue, and yellow, it was blacking out or something. Um, do battle, construction changes, and water Pokemon um, are common sights in these parts. They say that Misty of the Sewer and Gym Trans here. That's cool. Here's Seafoam Islands. That's one entrance. I think that's the correct entrance you want to go into. That bottom entrance right there. You don't really want to go there. Except for like, I think there's a couple items you can get there. But you won't, you won't find Articuno on that section of the Seafoam Islands. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to put Firefox to the bottom. Like, I'll put Starman back up front, I guess. I only have one more trainer here. I think this will be the last trainer of the, of the video, too. I almost said this will be the last trainer. I almost said this is be the last trainer of the battle. Which wouldn't make sense. Um, I meant video if I was about, if I was gonna say that, which I actually technically did say that. I mean video. Okay, she has one Pokemon. It's a Seeking. It's level 35. Ooh, so I thought she it could survive a Thunderbolt. You know, you just don't know. Cool. It fainted in one hit. Cool. I got yeah. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. Youch! Thanks for dollar and forty cents. Okay, I'm gonna go back in to the Pokemon Center and heal actually, so that everyone's fully healed by the time we go into the C4 now on. Just so, just in case. So um I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna put add, add this out actually. I'm gonna yeah, edit this out. So um I'm gonna go heal and I'm probably gonna see if I can stash any items on my PC that I don't really need for right now. And I'll meet you guys I'll on the part right back at that C4 my own entrance. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm back. Uh I didn't have to put anything in the PC, um, so that's good for items I'm in the Steven's PC I should say. So yeah, I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been then my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo walk there part. And the next part we'll take on the C4 My own, this C4 My own section at least. And then uh we'll do the whole puzzle and maybe in, in the next next part I'll take on Articuno then. So the next part might be short depending on how fast I get through the puzzle and everything. So yeah, this has been Jonko again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next part my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo walkthrough guide.